What's going on everyone? My name is Steve Larson and this is Sales Funnel Radio. Welcome to Sales Funnel Radio, where you'll learn marketing strategies to grow your online business using today's best internet sales funnels. And now, here's your host, Steve Larson. All right, all right, all right, all right. So today I got a sweet story for you guys. Um, I was, uh, so it's Monday, right? And I was, I was coming out of church, um, and uh, yesterday I was in church and this guy, and I just kind of got in this conversation. I've seen him before. I haven't really talked to him that much, though. Um, great guy. And uh, I was sitting there, and we were, actually we were walking out, and our little kids were running around screaming like crazy, right? And he he goes, now, you're... You're in the army, right? And I said, yeah. Um, and he goes, I don't know if I should publicly say that, but I just did. So, and, and he goes, uh, man, like, is that cool and stuff? I was like, well, just like anything, there's pros and cons, you know. Um, there's really fun times and there's really boring times. And um, and um, he goes, and you, you do marketing stuff, right? I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he goes, so what do you do? And I start telling him, you know, I was like, hey, I build sales funnels and I do this and this and this. And he was like, that's really, really interesting. And and I could tell like something was bothering him, right? And he, he looked over and and I asked him like, are you, I said, what do you do for work? You know, and I know you do like um, supply chain management stuff, right? He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, I almost did that in college, but like you guys are crazy smart. Like you guys have so much, like I remember my supply chain classes that I, that I took being up all night making these ridiculously huge Excel models, right? And they were cool, but Man, that was rough, right? It was super, super rough to um, uh, to do that stuff. It's just my brain, I, I wasn't cut out for it. I got bored really quick, right? And he, he goes, that's just the thing, man. Like, I'm so, I don't know. I, I can't say what it is. I was like, are you just really, really bored? And he goes, yeah. And he goes, I'm so bored. I, I hate my job. I hate what I do. I don't like, and he got, he got animated. It's the first time I've really ever seen him kind of, um, open up like he and I have spoken before but you know small talk I mean we're not really we're not really friends or whatever it's not that we're not but uh, you know we just haven't done anything and anyways he <clears throat> he starts opening up to me he's like telling me how bored he is with his life and he said I the only thing that I like about my job like he said this to me the only thing I like about my job is the fact that it provides for my family I like that I hate going to work though. I hate doing what I do. And he looked at me and he goes, you are so lucky. And I felt like, I mean, I didn't know how to react to that. Cause yeah, I am. He's like, you wake up every single day and you, you're you excited to go to work. I was like, freak, yeah, man. <laughs> it's like, it's, it's not even seven o'clock in the morning right now and I'm already at the office, right? I get up early to just crush it, right? Cause you guys know that I have a normal job on the side and so I do this in the mornings and I build sales funnels in weird times of the day and um, so that I can, um, you know, keep moving towards my dreams and, and make extra money and, and it works and, and I make a lot of extra money with this. So anyways, he looks at it and he's like, you're so lucky, man. He's like, and you're in the army. You know, how is that? Is that super fun? I was like, I mean, it's just like, <laughs> there's, I mean, it's just, it's exactly what I said before, man. It's like, it's, there's really good times and there's really boring times. And um, anyways, uh, there's a, a book by uh, by Tim Ferriss. I'm sure you guys have all heard it. It's the four hour work week. But in that book, the first time I read it, I thought this was kind of a weird comment that Tim Ferriss said in there. And Tim Ferriss, I remember he said, um, um, the real thing that we're fighting in this life is boredom. And <clears throat> I thought, well, that's, you know, I don't know. I'd really agree with that. I don't, I don't know. And um, I, can't, I wish I could remember the rest of the quote. I should have looked, looked it up before I started recording. Um, but he said, the real thing that we're fighting in this life is, is boredom. Um, we should do things because it excites us. And that's the only reason. And I started thinking about why I am where I am. And that actually is 100% spot on true that I started learning how to drive traffic because I thought it was really freaking cool and I could send traffic over to, um, you know, to tons of, to, to these different sites and make money. I remember the first time that I made money online, I went to sleep, right, my, my buddy and I was working on stuff and I was, um, I had just convinced my internet marketing teacher to not let me, you know, I said, hey, please don't let me come back. I, I don't wanna go back to class. Um, I, 
I've already been studying this stuff for a while. You guys are talking about like the basics and it's killing me. And uh, I said, no offense, but can I go do this instead, right? And I drew up a plan and it was just a sales funnel, right? I had a, an opt-in page, an order form, there was a, a, an upsale and then um, something else. And it was for an affiliate product, right? And I said, this is what I wanna go build and I wanna do this instead of your class. <laughs> he said, I can't believe you let me do it, but I thank God every day that he, he said yes because he, he, he very well could have just changed my life right there, which he probably did because it worked. I went out and I built it and I remember that night, um, I was like, gosh, I hope this works. Like I sent traffic to it. I spent 50 bucks, which to me was a huge amount of money, $50 in traffic. And I went to sleep and I woke up the next day and just and uh, immediately pulled up my computer. And I was looking at it and I was like, oh, holy crap, <laughs> there was $50 back in my account. I broke even. And uh, there were 17 people who had seen it and had opted in but didn't purchase. So I gained 17 contacts and uh, $50. And I was like, this is crazy. Oh my gosh. you know. And I was a little bit disheartened because I didn't make money, right? All I got was contacts and I, I didn't understand how cool it was and what I had just pulled off the very first time that I had tried it, right? That's called, we call that a self-liquidating offer. I had, I had made no money but had gained customers, right? Which is really, so my cost to acquire a customer was zero, which to any VC firm, whatever, is nuts. <laughs> and so I went through and I could remarket to those people and I could make more money with them, right? Um, but anyways, I was I was going nuts and, and I got super excited and I started going and uh, driving traffic for Paul Mitchell that was local there and got introduced to eight more Paul Mitchells through California. And my buddy and I started building uh, websites for some of their upcoming celebrities who were being on TV. And we, I mean, I did it because it was exciting, right? I was fighting boredom and my brain works at a billion miles an hour. You guys could probably hear it. Sometimes I talk super fast, but I just, I was fighting boredom and that's what you should do. Go fight boredom. That's the real enemy is boredom. And so you just, <laughs> gosh, I hate going to like the reason I love my job so much, my normal job is because it's different every day. I do a different thing every single day and that's the reason I chose marketing. Um, I remember I was talking to a, a professor and a teacher. I know I talk about college a lot but there's some things I really liked about college and things I hated and um, I'm not necessarily that old. <laughs> I'm only 28 so for me college was not that long ago and so there's all these lessons I still did learn from college it was, and I'm glad I went, I'm glad I did it but there was a teacher that I sat down with and I was like, look, I don't know what I wanna do. I can see myself being in finance. My brain can handle that stuff a little bit. I can see myself being in supply chain. That stuff's really interesting to me too. Uh, marketing is interesting but it seems like the one that I would actually like the least. And I can't believe I said that which is very funny. Um, and he, he's like, he's like, you. <laughs> you're built for marketing. I said, what? <laughs> He's like, aren't they like a dime a dozen? He said, well, yeah, but you don't need to be. And uh, it, it, I was like, there's no like tangible skill that comes with marketing though. You know what I mean? Like you can't, you don't, you don't study marketing and come out and go like, yeah, this is X, Y, Z. Like, you know, like engineers, they say, hey, I can make you a blueprint. We'll get it going over to an architect. And then you got a building. Like I, marketing people don't do that stuff, right? And so I said, well, what do I, like, what do you guys do? He's like, the reason I think you're gonna like it is because there's literally a different problem every single day. He was the um, the chief marketing officer of like Denny's for a long time and Little Caesars. He's actually the guy that invented cheese crust. You know, the cheese filled crust. Um, he thought about that, he's like, hey, let's just try it out. And he told me that, that for a long time there's no, there no string cheese in any stores in America because he kept telling all the managers to go buy it up because they exploded their projections <laughs> and people wanted uh, cheese filled crust. Anyways, random story, but um, anyways, he told me like, look, you in marketing, you get to go solve a new problem every day. My problem right now is I'm trying to find a good blogger. I don't like writing, but there's some articles that I need written, right? And so I'm gonna go solve that problem, right? Another problem I'm having right now is I wanna go find one more awesome sales guy that I can manage all my other sales guys with, you know, and pay more than the others. 
um, that's that's a problem I'm trying to solve right now, right? And it's it's, it's fun because I can go out. Okay, well, how am I going to get new blood into my business? How am I going to sell more sales funnels? How am I going to get more people to try Click Funnels? Because I absolutely love it, and I do get a little bit of affiliate commission with it, right? That's my business model. That's how I that's that's how I make money. And uh, how am I going to do that, right? And I get to think of all these cool problems and come up with all these cool strategies. And really, the number one thing to fight in this life is boredom. <laughs> when it comes to you know professional. Uh, bored up don't be bored if you're bored at your job go quit it all right I'm serious um, go maybe not right off the bat you know <laughs> but seriously go get a go get a book that has a really interesting title if you want to go make money in a different way um, then, then start holy crap start life's too short to do stuff you freaking hate like there's a, so the guy yesterday that I was talking to you saying you know he's like hey I like you know you're super lucky and I just hate my job um, I said, well, there's some books I'll give to you if you want, like that really have pushed me forward, right? The books that have really made the huge difference in my life. And, and he's like, well, yeah, that sounds awesome. Let's do that. I was like, yeah, let me show you what I do. And, and, and uh, let's see if we can kind of save you, man, because <laughs> that sucks. There's a, um, I can't remember the name of the book. I'm looking at the bookshelf here. Um, gosh, I can't remember the name of it. You know, I, Anyways, the one of the major lessons, it's on the back of the cover. It says, oh, it's a book called, I think it's How the World Sees You. Seven Reasons to Discover How the World Sees You. Um, and I'll, I just want to read these real quick. The first one is, um, the world's not changed by people who sort of care. The world is not changed by people who sort uh, who sort of care. Right, you kind of have to really care, and that, I've I've talked about that in a previous podcast. How you have to be purposeful. Number two, um, you don't learn how to be fascinating; you unlearn boring. Right. Uh, number three, instead of focusing on strengths, highlight your differences. That alone, right there, has made me uh, really stand out. Um, there's some things that I really suck at, I, and I just would hate to be an accountant. I would hate to be a lawyer. And there's people who love it, so that's great. And I'm gonna hire them out. Just because I can do something doesn't mean I should, right? I should do the thing that distinguishes me the most, which is building. I'm actually quite a good funnel builder, right? <laughs> and then uh, and, until I realized that, you know, I, I kind of stayed in the in the back scenes. Um, but number four, every time you communicate, you're either adding value or taking up space. And I hope that you guys think I'm, I'm adding value. I'm trying to give you guys cool nuggets and get you motivated to do stuff. So number five, to become more successful, don't change who you are, become more of who you are. Number six, if you don't know your value, don't expect others to know it, which is true. I, 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 charge, um, I charge 10 grand for my, my sales funnels. Um, those are the ones that I kind of pre-built for a certain industry. I charge 15 grand for custom funnels, but until I actually said that for people, I, I actually I worked for free for a really long time, which is good. You should go work for free for a while, get results, get testimonials um, if you're just starting out. But um, if you don't if you don't actually come out and say, hey, look, like this is how much it's gonna be before you start building, before you start doing whatever it is you're gonna go do. I don't care if you're not building sales funnels, but whatever it is you're gonna go do, then then people aren't gonna. I mean, <laughs> they're not gonna pay you any money, right? And then number seven, the greatest value you can add is to become more of yourself, which I kind of already said that. This is kind of six things. But the biggest one I wanted to say is that you need to unlearn boring in your own life, not just in your marketing. And then uh, just because someone says like, like working nine to five is awesome, but it doesn't always take me eight hours to get my tasks done for the day, right? So go do something else, right? Or, or work on something on the side, right? In, instead of uh, focusing on your strengths, highlight your differences. That's like marketing 101 right there as far as personal branding. But anyways, I'm kind of ranting now again, but I just want you guys to know that the thing you need to be doing is, is like I said, unlearning boring, fight boring. You can't, number one, you can't be boring in your business, but number two, you can't, do boring over and over again in your life and expect to maintain potency, right? You, you can't. <laughs> so don't be like that guy <laughs> that I talked to yesterday. If you hate your job, man, start making moves to quit it, right? Figure out what you do like. And if, if you need help, here's a trick. What do you think about when you don't need to be thinking about anything, right? That's, that's one of the reasons I chose business. That's one of the reasons I chose building stuff because I started thinking, 
Holy crap, every time I have nothing to be thinking about, meaning I don't need to be doing homework, I didn't need to be working for a client that I had during college, I didn't need to be, you know, like, um, I was away from home, so I wasn't, you know, talking with my wife or anything, or, you know, I wasn't around other people. The things I would think about was always business related. I was always thinking, well, how could I sell that? How could I do this? How could I do this? Wow, this is a great idea, right? And I fell into that, wow, that's a great idea trap for a while, but when I actually started putting things into action, um, Anyways, it, it was really, <laughs> anyways, go, go out and, and don't, just don't be boring. Just go figure out what it is that you wanna go do, figure out what excites you, and think through, what do I think about when I don't need to be thinking about anything? And the answer to that is usually what is really gonna excite you. Just follow that trail for a little bit and you'll probably find the answer. So, anyways, guys, I wanna talk, or I, I, I wanna thank you guys for listening in. As always, please go to salesfunnelbroker.com, download some of the free funnels if you don't know where to get started and just tinker with them. Um, you do need a ClickFunnels account, but it comes with a free trial when you download that link. Um, and if you guys have any questions, go to the Hey Steve page there and you can record right off the uh, browser page of uh, recording to me and it will email that voice recording to me. And if I, uh, I kind of vet the questions and if the question pops up on, on uh, the show, then I will go ahead and, and uh, send you guys the Hey, T- hey Steve t-shirt and it's a sweet t-shirt. Um, I'll go through another podcast episode on how I made those t-shirts without really needing to <laughs> or how I made them, you know, you know, not on my own. But anyways, guys, I'll talk to you later and uh, uh, please let me know what you think about this. All right, guys, see ya. Thanks for listening to Sales Funnel Radio. Please remember to subscribe and leave feedback. Have a question you want answered on the show? Get your free t-shirt when your question gets answered on the live Hey Steve show. Visit salesfunnelbroker.com now to submit your question. Thank you.